yeah. Too late. Make yeah. sure you get there and get that money. But come and find out afterwards, all that was over, I something said, be still. God is taking care of this whole thing. Don't even wow. be concerned. Because your phone is still on. I said, how could they say when I called the bank that they didn't take the money off, how come my phone is still working? Because usually if you didn't... Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Your phone would be off. Oh, right so something said, don't worry about it. It's wow. your phone. It's not going to be turned off. It's fine. Come to find out wow. that and when Moana came in off, she said, all right, Moana said, here, Ma, put something in the bank, in your bank there. You don't have to worry about that. That's it all. So I would, you wow. Know, but that was way, I had more than I thought I had. Amen. So Amen. That that's amazing. amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. that's, that's amazing. It, usually I say, oh, well, I'm so sick of this phone. I'm kidding. <laughs> Amen. But I know, and good thing I had that receipt because mm -hmm. they asked yeah. me. I said, they said, no, you didn't pay it because we 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 you, we didn't we, we didn't receive it. Oh. We didn't receive it. Well, how come my phone is still on? Mm -hmm. Because, because with Metro, yeah. they, they do give you a grace period till the next yeah. day. Yeah. 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 But yeah, but this is way past the next day. That, that was yesterday, mm -hmm. and today, yeah, oh, it was the third I paid. It. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So All right. yesterday was the fifth. What the sixth? Mm -hmm. right, well, one way or another, she Amen. got yeah. favor. So this is, said, yes. God. I said, God, you're with me, so I'm not yes. even worried about that. Yes. You have to take care of it. Amen. Whether I'm worried about that phone, because I'm yes. trusting in you, Lord. That's it's right. all going to be straightened out. You know? That's Amen. right. That's right. That when we call Sister Shirley, it's yeah. not going to be as I Excuse no. me, no, this. Uh, yeah, I said, I said, wait a minute. I said, MSAC01. I said, is that what you're supposed to be calling me to pick me up? And won't you all even be able to get a hold of me? Oh my God. <laughs> Amen. But, it, but the well, funny well, thing is that, that, that we did not make no arrangements for me to pick her up. No. But the, after yeah. I got out of prayer, yeah. uh -huh. the Lord told me to call her. And, and I she was stranded over at Country Club. Because I would have been oh. down there, but I was passing off track to talk to the people. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, country club. Country oh, club. He always yeah. sends me there all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. so I happened to call her after prayer, and yeah. she would have had to wait for her daughter oh, to get yeah. off the bus. I was three, four See, hours. I was down there. This is the how the Lord is working. Yes. I mean, He is. Yeah. It's you. it's just awesome. That's so awesome. Thank God for it. Our it's right. It's right. That, that it says in here about we pray we pray for God for our home, our homes, our yes. finances, everything. Yes. We trust in God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, not and ourself. not yeah. in ourselves. No. And He is in control. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like, wow. And um, you feel so relaxed after you yes. see people. Yes. Wow, this is a new thing, boy. Because boy, before you be sitting, oh no, I gotta do this. I'm pushing. Right, right, and right. And he right. calls somebody up, borrow some money. He didn't want me to borrow no money. You know? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I had to borrow, I have to pay back. Yeah. So right. If you, if you have to borrow, actually, Lord told me you cannot afford to borrow. You don't have no money to be paying back. So. Amen. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, that that's good. That's good. So. Anyway, so that's a, a great testimonies we have. And so yeah. what page we at? 42. We are 42? at... 42? Down here, faces and back. 42. Wow. Oh, wow. So we really see how God is working on many of our lives, how His hand continue to be... Yeah. yeah. So, um, I gave you the sticker last yeah. Oh, yeah, and, um, um, yes, and Miss, uh, Miss, uh, Diabra, do, do you have any testimony? Every day? Yeah, do you want to share anything or you, uh, She's fasting, so she don't talk too much when she's fasting. Oh, okay. Well, another thing I want to say, thank you so much in behalf of Pastor that uh, yesterday was a prayer mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. And um, um, right now they have this uh, huge thing in the city of Sacramento. So a lot of churches, they involved um, in prayer, 24-hour prayer. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you guys was a, you know, part of it because right now you know a lot of churches a lot of pastors um, want to be involved in that mm -hmm. you know to pray for the government a, a lady came by yeah. here that was a part of that uh huh, uh -huh. really and she, yeah and I guess who, whoever said that they were going to you know take the mantle of praying for that mm -hmm. 24 hour 
she went and visited from church to church to church to church. Really? And, uh, yes. Good. And so I, I got an opportunity to meet her. She's a beautiful woman. Yes. Oh, God, a beautiful intercessor. Yes. She uh, once was a lawyer, but she walked uh -huh. away from being a lawyer from to the, be a, wow, an intercessor for wow. Jesus Christ. Amen. The, she is the one who was uh, uh, with the pastor uh, in Roseville or someone else? She said that she goes to two churches. Ah, okay. Did, did you meet Elizabeth McDonald? Oh, you know what? We met oh, so no, many man. people, but this name I can't. Uh, she she said there's a prayer. Help me, Lord. The Rock uh, Prayer Church. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Church. Yes. Not the Rock, but mm -hmm. the Rock Prayer. Prayer. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. House of Prayer. House rock, of Prayer. House of okay. Prayer. And then mm -hmm. there was another church she said that she goes to in the South area. It's uh -huh. a Spanish ministry, oh. and she don't speak Spanish. But she knows the spirit is there. So right, she right. There. Well, that's uh -huh. awesome. It's yeah. awesome. So see, this is the one of the things. It's again, like I was spoke with someone, uh, one of the minister's wife, and we talking about the faith, and we are talking about the supernatural power of God. Uh, yeah. A lot of times, right now, we live in a you know new generation right now, and some people try new ideas how to uh, work the works of God mm. and well this minister's wife she was sharing with me she said you know they receive counseling they are supposed to have this huge decision in their life and they receive counseling from one person to another person the third person and they sit and they talk and you know try to make a wise decision mm -hmm. and she said Pastor Olga you know what this new thing, what people try to do, mm -hmm. you know, counseling, this and this, it's mm -hmm. not work. Yeah. I said, so how you come up with this uh, decision? She said, the old way, go on your knees, Amen. go fasting mm -hmm. and Amen. prayer, Amen. and God the answer right That's away. Right. Amen. This is the and this is what people realize right now. A lot of ministers, a lot of churches. This is why Sacramento and surround the area, pastors and churches is praying because they realize the old way. Don't do no good. No, really. You know, I mean, even you know, all this concert and all of these activities, you know, plays, whatever they do, but the old way is work. It's a right way. So it's it's a foundation of everything. So Hallelujah. But anyway, so we thank God and you guys was praying and Amen. so and you met someone, so praise God. So anyway, she let's uh -huh. here, Oh she did, she so left something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who would like to read? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, you start right where it says faith is faith is a fact, fact. Mm -hmm. faith is an act. Once God's faith has been released in your heart, you must act upon God's promises, knowing you have received what you have asked. Jesus told his disciples, Truly I tell you, whoever says to this mountain, Be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt at all in his heart, but believes that what he says will take place, it will be done for him. For this reason, I'm telling you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe, trust, and be confident that it is granted to you, and you will get it. Mark 11, 23 through 24. Amen. He said, whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14, 13, and 14. Once you have asked God in faith, you must consider it as being done and trust God to bring it to pass, regardless of any visible circumstances that would try to discourage you and cause you to doubt. You must then act upon the word of God, the Logos, or upon the promise God speaks directly to you through a rhema word. The word rhema is derived from a verb that means action. It means to speak a word. Rhema, that word of God, has a special meaning to us. It means that God has a spoken word for each one of us as individuals. 
And secondly, there is no spiritual life that you can possess that can possibly exist without this rhema, without this personal spoken word of God coming directly to you and coming directly to me, we cannot exist spiritually without it. We must have it. When we receive it, we are not receiving words of man, but we are receiving thoughts of God. Amen. Amen. And it's also talking about what? Revelation of the word. Amen. How many of us, we know certain people, they know the scripture. Mm-hmm. But if you don't know, don't have a revelation of it, Amen. you just... It's just like a, just a little book. And so this is why we constantly pray and say, Lord, open our eyes of understanding. Let us see. Let us understand. Let us to receive in our spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There are many who feel very weak as if they have no faith at all. There is always a struggle inside their beings to believe God. I want to tell you something in the Holy Spirit that I pray God will quicken to you, that it will be a source of strength for you forever. It will allay a lot of your concerns, struggles, and fears concerning your relationship of faith in God and in appropriating His precious promises. Within the rhema lies the faith. When the promise comes, when the personal word comes directly from God to you, do not struggle for the faith. The faith is already there with the promise. Mm-hmm. At the, all that is necessary is for you to act upon the personal word or promise from God. Amen. 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 And what do you guys think about talking about the act? You know, do whatever the instructions do, do were. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's good. Amen. That's good. All right. Um, anyone else wants yeah. to read? By faith and obedience, Abraham took possession of God's promise. Abraham, the father of our faith, released his faith by acting upon the promise God has given him. He received the promise that God was going to bless him and give the land of Canaan, Canaan to him and his seed as an in, in, inheritance. inheritance he refused to look at his outward circumstances and choose to chose. believe and, and chose to believe God to trust him. He had received God's promise in his heart, yet he did not have possession of the fulfillment of the promise. When God called him to leave his country and go to a place where he would show him Abraham responded in implicit implicit faith and obedience to God. He acted on God's promise. Well, now this is the very important because God sometimes he's speaking to our hearts. And it's so important to obey because sometimes we, when we get mature and have more knowledge in certain things, you know, like age-wise, mm-hmm. we have sometimes tendency to think we know everything, mm-hmm. and you comfortable. I mean, can you imagine Abraham? He was settled. He was what seventy some years mm-hmm. old, right? right? Yeah. It's not just like a young person, right. and suddenly, God speak to him like, you know, surely, me, surely, she is close somewhere at that age. <laughs> And suddenly God can speak me surely and says, I want you to go, who knows where, but anyway, she was like, look, I have a grandchildren here. I have some children. I have some family. I'm not going away. I mean, you know, for example, but in the same thing, Abraham, he has some family members. I mean, they was adjusted. They was, but he heard what God says. And he said, go. And that's for each of us. Amen. You know, regardless how comfortable we could be. Right. But if God says, you just you just have to obey. Right. Because this is how we determine its success. Now, our success as the believer is not determined by, 
you know how by someone else they will look at your life well you know how world determine your success oh status. yeah status mm -hmm. they look at uh -huh, you have a good job you have a driving a good car or they look at by appearance or they're looking by the house where you live what neighborhood yeah. this is not how god looking at success of ours mm -hmm. he is looking at beverly oh she's obeying me Amen. oh son frank he is obeying me you know uh my daughter shirley she is obeying me you know that is uh, the success in god's eyes he don't care what house you leave he don't care what you drive even though he wants us to have a good he care about you know for us to be comfortable but as far as the it's not he's not tripping about because it's all of his you know it's anyway so the obedience is so important and this is determined the success hallelujah so he he was successful abraham was successful because he obeyed god and he fulfilled purpose in this earth oh my god to fulfill the purpose we each of us we have a purpose in this earth we don't just appear here because someone gave us a birth i mean you know thank you jesus that god used that mama or that daddy or whatever but this is not the whole thing god has the purpose and nobody can fulfill that purpose but you Hallelujah. my lord jesus so that is the uh, yeah go ahead <laughs> years pass without any sign of god's promise being fulfilled yet abraham continued to believe and trust god his faith had grabbed hold of the impossible he had the evidence proof of things not seen he had a strong conviction deep inside him that he would have the son god had promised the greatest demonstration of abraham's faith came after isaac was born one day god called him abraham here i am abraham replied take your son your only son isaac whom you love and go to the region of mariah mariah sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains i will tell you about genesis 22 and 2. There were no reasons given why only a command which must be obeyed. Abraham's faith did not waver. God had promised him that he would be the father of many nations and his seed as numberless as the stars of the heaven. He did not question God. Through faith, a loyalty to God and assurance that God was going to do what he had promised Abraham obeyed. Amen. So what we see on this, we see totally that uh, Abraham, he know the voice of God. Amen. How many of us today, sometimes we have certain insight and we really don't know if it's God or it's a devil or it's you. <laughs> no, really, this is what happened. Amen. A lot of people and nowadays, it's like they hear something, but they don't recognize if it's God, mm -hmm. or it's an enemy, or it's maybe them mm -hmm. who's thinking. But Abraham, he know his father's voice so clearly. And so when he know the father's voice, so for us in these days, it's very important to recognize and know the father's voice. Because right now in our life, see, and they, in these days, where then they live, they did not have a HBO, they did not have no internet, they don't have all of this pollution that we live in. They so, didn't even have the Bible. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, 
for them, you know, he was, I don't know what his lifestyle, but obviously wickedness and all of that was still was exist. Yeah, idolatry. Right, all of that, you know, we know that. But the thing is, he was not the voice of the Father. So for us, we also, we can learn to do that. Mm -hmm. We can put aside all of these different things mm -hmm. to communicate. For example, you know, a lot of us have a family members who will call you. I mean, obviously, Beverly, if, if your husband call her, I'm kind of thinking that she will recognize his voice. Mm -hmm. I mean, be with someone for you know, all you this. Start talking right away. Right, you know. right. You, you know. But sometimes certain family members, when they call you, you was like, who is it? Who is who? Who? Mm -hmm. You say who? Johnny? Yeah, you mean? See, my voice, sometimes <laughs> they sound alike, and I get them mixed up. Really? Yes. <laughs> So, and, and why does that happen? Because you don't spend enough time with that individual because they outside of the relationship or fellowship. Well, the same thing with God. You're too busy to do some study, school, you know, or some work or some children, grandchildren. You're too busy. And so God is calling. God is speaking. You're like, huh? Huh? There is you? Satan, oh, it's you. I don't know who is this. <laughs> you know, because you start to be, you know, apart. You know, like you don't talk to your children for like a two, two months and you start like, Peter, it's you? Or it's, uh, you know, whatever the name is. Right. You know, so this is what it is. But the Abraham, when God spoke, he knew that it was not a devil talking to him. She knew it was God. <laughs> so that that's that's good. All right. Yeah. Early in the morning, he got up out of the cut the wood, they cut, cut the wood for the burnt offering, saddled his donkey, took two of his servants and Isaac, and set out for the place God had told him to go. After three days' journey, he saw the place in the distance. He told his servants, Stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. Genesis 22 and 5. Abraham did not waver in his faith. In obedience to God, he was going to sacrifice Isaac. The son to whom God would fulfill his promise. He was so convinced that God would fulfill his promise to him that he believed God would raise Isaac from the dead. By the faith he told the servants, We will worship and then we will come back to you. Hallelujah. Abraham placed the wood on Isaac's back for the burnt offering. And he carried the knife and the fire. As they walked, Isaac spoke to Abraham, Father, yes, my son, Abraham replied, The fire and wood are here, Isaac said, But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went together. Genesis 22, 6 through 8. Okay. Once again, Abraham's faith did not waver. He did not limit God. He trusted in the one who had caused his barren wife to conceive long after she was beyond childbearing age. Abraham didn't know how or when, but he knew God had made a promise to him and that he would not break it. He knew God would provide. When they reached the place God had told him to go, Abraham built an altar, placed the wood on the altar, bound Isaac, and placed him on that altar. He took the knife in his hand and raised it to thrust into his beloved son. 
Think about the faith Abraham released at that very moment. With the knife clutched in his hand, he was fully convinced that if he sacrificed Isaac, God would bring him back to life. He trusted and believed God would be faithful to his promise. Amen. Amen. That is awesome, huh? That Even is he awesome. He didn't move that knife too fast. Yeah, Amen. that's awesome. But God would have raised him up anyway. Yes, Amen. because this is what's his trust. But now, look at the character of Abraham was also. Amen. He was raising up his son, and he was a, such a Isaac. He has a, such a respect for his son. Yes. And his that, son for his father. Right, that uh, when, you know, father says, look, um, boy, laying down over here. I mean, he was not a five-year-old. Really? He doesn't seem like he's five-year-old. Yeah. He has some already sense, mm -hmm. the Isaac. You know, like, and nowadays, if we're looking at, some parents cannot even tell the child when they're 13 years old, let's go to church, it's Sunday today. No. I'm not going nowhere. You know, but the Abraham, he was raising up his son in such a way that that son have a, such a respect mm -hmm. over him. Yes. And when father say something, it was not a, even an option. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, dad, this is what we're going to do. Amen. I mean, that is some kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. He was as a, a great example before his son. Amen. That is another demonstration of the obedience. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's it's very, very powerful. Yeah, yeah. Good demonstration. And, mm -hmm. and what I see in that, too, is uh, because, um, I I mean, because Abraham gave him things to carry. Yes. You don't usually ask little children to carry stuff. Yes. So he was of some age to bear weight. To be able to, mm -hmm. yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Well, he was obedient, and yes. he was like... Um, Miss Beryl was saying that he has some um, probably age on him mm -hmm. that he is able to carry it. Yes. See, that's because he was born. Just like your dead child was born in your mother's womb. It was already saved, right, from the, while it was in your body. And, and that was what his... Well, was. yeah. No, but, well, you know, he was he was a promised child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so it's So when Jesus went right. to hell and preached, he was one of the ones that responded. Right, Amen. right. But they did hear they did hear the voice of the Lord. Yes. Yeah. You know. At that time, yeah. yeah, they did the hear the voice of God. the Lord. They, they, to me, they were really blessed because they heard God's voice there and they knew it and they obeyed and did it. People mm -hmm. here got the Holy Ghost, and they still don't obey the Holy Ghost. Because they don't spend time yeah, with Him. <laughs> this is what we were just talking about, because some people, yeah. we have such an awesome gift, the Holy Spirit. Right, right. I mean, we can spray in the Spirit. I remember when I just got safe, and I was working on the bank, but I have this fire come out oh, yeah, of me yeah. so i'm going to the bathroom and i speak in a spirit oh, i mean yeah. like you know on the breaks yeah. i mean that gift yeah. to speak in a in a in a, in a spirit yeah. is powerful yeah. then god give you the revelation yeah. we can spend time with god any second i was, in, I was in the prison mm -hmm. in the ministry yes god was blessing, i'm telling you for, for hardcore criminals too yeah and my daughter back went with me she said Oh, I could never, boy, Ma, you got to, not afraid. I didn't have no fear, because God was with me in that whole time. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And this is what God wants us to do. He That's wants right. us to be used yes. by Him yeah. in every place. And I he mean, does it. You, can, you, but you can't do nothing of yourself. No. And fast and fast, fast. I could not stand up there before I had to fast, before I stood up there to do anything. You know? Yes, you know? yes, yeah. yes. And you know, yeah. our life's supposed to be a blessing to people. Right. Right. Like, like, you know. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for those who are supporting this ministry and also because we are part of this international uh, television ministry. Yeah. We receive so many numbers of, of uh, emails and uh, phone calls, and um, usually I get the messages and I return the calls mm -hmm. if I see 
you know, it, if it's not saying like, pastor need to call me or whatever. Yeah. So I, I returned the phone call, this uh, young man, I don't know his age, but seems he's a young man. And uh, I spoke with him and uh, usually I don't minister in males. No. This is what I don't do. No. Um, I try to stay, you know, away because of the boundary issues. So, and I said, okay, well, I said, we have a conversation. How can we help you? And, you know, I will take a message for the pastor. And he said, well, I need to make a confessions. And it's a traditional, like in a Russian, uh, people make a confession one to another and, you know, things like this. So, but whatever, you know, you want to make confessions, fine. But I was saying to him, I said, I will let the pastor call you and that you can talk to him. And I will start to lead in the conversation that way. But I hear in my spirit mm -hmm. that the Lord wants to do something. Oh. And I was like, mm, I don't feel comfortable talk to this man. Usually I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so I, and I, and I try to see where the Lord leads in. And simple, just to hear a little bit of this young man and to pray. Mm -hmm. See, the power is in prayer. Yeah. Then, and, and when we when I pray for him, he said, oh, I am so appreciate you took all this time and think of, of you and a pastor that you guys, you know, this and this. Sometimes, you know, we can go out of outside of our comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Sometimes what we have, like we usually don't do, and let us say, okay, Holy Spirit, because he live in us. Yeah. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is it you want? Mm -hmm. You know, and be sensitive to, to obey. Mm -hmm. If the Lord says, just, you know, to say something nice to someone. Mm -hmm. You know, because the the soft mm -hmm. speech brings healing yeah, to someone. Mm -hmm. If you have nothing good to say, mm -hmm. don't say don't anything. Say anything right. Because we're going to be responsible for some words. Mm -hmm. You know, and bring the curses with our mouths in someone's life. We are supposed to be a blessing. Hallelujah. So anyway, so God wants to use us. Amen. So, all right. Well, you guys go ahead and... Yeah, I'll finish. Yeah, I'll finish. I'll finish. I'll finish. I'll finish. I'll finish. As a result of Abraham's faith, trust, and obedience, he took possession of... God's promise to him, and he became the father of a great nation. Today it is by faith in Jesus Christ we have become the seed of Abraham and have inherited the promises of God. However, Paul told the Galatians that it is not simply those who claim to be the seed of Abraham who are blessed and receive the promise of God. It is those who live by faith, Paul said. Amen. Know and understand that it is really the people who live by faith who are the true sons of Abraham. Amen. So then those who are people of faith are blessed and made happy and favored by God as partners in fellowship with the believing and trusting Abraham, Galatians 3, uh, 7 and 9. We are a people of faith, not an ordinary faith, but a man-made not a man-made man mm -hmm. man faith, but a supernatural faith that moves mountains. Amen. 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 Supernatural Amen. faith. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Yeah, you can work yes. Yes. Re release God's faith and take possession of the things you need from God. Appro appropriating the faith of God to receive the things you need from Him is not difficult. It does not involve a long, complicated process. It is so simple and easy. Abraham received God's promise. Abraham believed and had confidence and trusted God to do exactly what he has promised. Abraham acted in obedience to God. Abraham received the fulfillment of God's promise. God has given 
given you his supernatural faith to be able to receive all that he provided for you in his covenant. He has placed the title of deed in your hands, guaranteeing possession. The things of which you are trusting him to take possession of your healing, the finances you need, the healing of your loved ones, the restoration of your marriage. Go to Jesus, the author, and finish your faith, and draw the faith. Hallelujah. You will the faith you need from him. Receive God's promise into your spirit. Ask God in faith, believing you have received it. Act in faith, trusting God to do what he promised, regardless of the circumstances. The woman who was healed of the issue of blood received her healing, not because of not, not because, because she had, she had such, such great, great faith, faith, but simply because she believed and acted upon what she had heard about Jesus. For twelve long and painful years, she was she had suffered with the condition. She was weak, discouraged, and at the point of desperation, she was financially drained. She had spent all her money and had suffered many things from different physicians. Mm. Wow, huh. Like now will they do it? She had mm -hmm. tried everything possible to find a remedy or cure for her disease sickness, but she only grew worse. In this in this weekend, in this weekend discouraged condition, she did not have faith in herself to manifest the healing of her body. She did not have the written word or promise to stand upon. She simply acted upon what she had heard. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things and many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and Touch his garment, for she says, "If I may touch his clothes, I shall be here whole." Amen. That Mark five five twenty five. Mm -hmm. When the woman heard about Jesus, she believed, acts upon what she heard, and received her healing. No doubt, she had heard that there was healing virtue in Jesus, and that He had healed the blind, the lame the death and the types of dis all types of diseases. She did not struggle to produce faith. She did not say to herself, if only I had faith to believe, Jesus would heal me. She did not depend upon her own ability to believe. She did not seek healing. She looked to Jesus for healing. There are many people who came to our meeting seeking healing. Their friends is and Their our, focus. Huh? Their focus. Their focus. Oh, their focus is, is on their healing instead of upon Jesus. So these glasses are supposed to be good, but you know what? They're not good glasses at all. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I have to use them until I can get a good pair. Mm -hmm. uh, she would be healed. And if she was somewhat pressed away, though, the crowd, and she would touch him, she would be healed. The moment the woman touched Jesus, hearing virtue flowed of Jesus to the woman, and she was immediately healed. And immediately her flow of blood was dried up at the, at the source. And suddenly she felt in, her, felt in her body that she was healed of her distressing ailment. Mark 5.29 Jesus felt the healing power that flowed out of his body. In the midst of the multitudes pressing in to touch him and he and be healed. Jesus looked around him at the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? His disciples answered him, You see the multiple person in on you and on your way? Who touched me? Mark 5, 31. Jesus kept on looking around to see who had drawn the heel of virtue from her, his, his body. The woman, trembled with fear, fell down at Jesus' feet and told him everything. Jesus said to her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. Mark 5, 34. 
Hallelujah. Well, before we go, Father, you know, and that is a, you know, great example. I mean, she's, she don't even have a word to stand in it. But she has faith in the Lord Jesus. So, so many times, you know, we sometimes get too used to, like, familiar of the things. Like, you go to church, you hear the word, and you refocus on it. You know, um, I mean, that can happen to anyone. Yeah. I was share with you, Pastor and I, we went to the, uh, where we went? We went to Russia years ago. Yeah. And we met my father. And my father, he was accepted the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Well, very next day, Satan came and attacked my husband, you know, Pastor. Mm -hmm. And with a, a toothache. Mm -hmm. So... Well, he was saying to my father, uh, do you guys have a doctor over here? Because I need to go check, you know, the tooth. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hurt. So my father was used by God, and he said to the pastor, he said, oh, okay, well, we can look for that. But I heard um, Jesus that I was just except. I heard that he is a saver. But I also heard that he is the healer. This is true. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, the light was on. Yeah. And Pastor says, he go in the room. He closed the door and he started to talk to the Lord. He said, Lord, you heard this man has started to, you know, put you on trial there. And he started seeking the Lord and he said, Lord Jesus, I know you are the saver, but I know you also the healer. And we was able to, I mean, God touch him. He is all this, um, whatever happened in the mouth, went away. And we were still able to travel. He don't have to go to no doctor. But see, even for a moment, you can just like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And the Lord used someone just got saved, yeah. says, does this Jesus who just uh, I received yesterday, yeah, does he's also a healer? Does it true? Amen, amen. <laughs> does that true? <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, it is true. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So it's a... Uh, it was a good illustration, and, and Jesus, he did, you know, he did touch his mouth, so yeah, thank God really for thank it. You, God. <laughs> yeah, so that was an interesting experience. All right, so let's we go forward. Who's going to... Uh, 47. 40, okay. mm -hmm. Sister Dad, are you going to read? Mm -hmm. yeah, this woman. Right. Mm -hmm. This woman received her healing because she simply believed and acted upon what she had heard concerning Jesus. It says she literally drew the healing virtue out of Jesus. As you release the faith that God has given you, you can draw strength, healing, whatever you need from Him. Release this supernatural faith within you. If you need healing in your body right now, don't seek after healing. Don't try to reduce enough faith so you can believe your healing. Receive God's only healing in your spirit and act. to pay taxes as he acted in obedience in Christ's command, go down to the sea and cast the hook and take up the fish for the first time at that, Matthew 17, 25. The man with the withered hand was made whole as he acted in obedience to Christ's command, stretch forth thy hand, Mark 3, 5. The disciples caught a miraculous rod of fishes as he acted in obedience to Christ's command, launch out, launch out into the deep. His eyes, his eyes were open. John 9, 6 through 7. His 
Regardless of what your needs are, and regardless of how impossible they seem to you, God has given you a powerful, living, supernatural faith that does not waver and never fails to produce results. Say aloud. God has placed his supernatural, supernatural faith within me that is able, able to move mountains, mountains that, that makes the impossible possible, possible that, that never wears, that never fails to produce results. As I release this act upon God's promises, I will receive whatsoever I ask. Yes. Hallelujah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. From this moment on, Every struggle in your life produce faith. Produce faith to believe God for the things you need. Cease. Receive the revelation that God has placed His supernatural faith within you. Draw your faith in Jesus, who is the author and finisher, finisher of your faith. Take the title deed God has placed in your hands and take possession of that in your mind. Live every day of your life by the faith of Jesus Christ within you. This month, my prayer for you is that you will come to a full comprehension of this, this supernatural faith God has given you, and that you will begin to appropriate it in your life until you are able to say with Paul, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth within me, and the life which I now live in the flesh. And gave himself for me. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, let's see. We have some kind of action. Week four. Does anyone see what it is? Oh. It's all way in the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Faith is to be lived. Amen. You want me to proceed? Yes. God's purpose for you in this end time army is that you draw upon the supernatural faith of God that is living within you. There will be times in your life when you do not feel as if you have any faith at all. The problems and circumstances you face may seem too much for you to bear. God wants you to live your life, moment by moment, day after day, by the faith of Jesus Christ within you. You are to regulate your life not according to your five senses or by what you feel or think, but by the faith of God. Begin this week to live your life by the faith of God. In the space below, Write down how you appropriate God's faith within you to receive what you need from Him. This week, A, this week I release the supernatural faith of God within me, entrusting and depending upon Him to meet my daily needs, food, clothing, housing, health, protection, financial need, and spiritual needs. And here's how. B, this week I release supernatural faith of God within me, in waging war against Satan, here's how. C. This week, I release the supernatural faith of God within me in ministering to the needs of those around me. Here is how. All right, all right. Well, anyone want to share with the like examples? Because you know we're not put on a paper, but if you want to share example, well, I how? Said it with my cell phone. You did. Okay. Yes. Anyone oh, else? Today I had Mm -hmm. um, I went to Toys R Us because okay. I had bought a gift card last mm -hmm. night and um, when I got home I looked closer at the gift card and it said Babies R Us uh -huh. and I'm like oh I didn't mean to get a Babies R Us I wanted to get a Toys R Us Okay. so anyway after prayer today I went back over there and I was like I got the wrong um, card you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, I want you know I wanted it for toys for right. a toddler, mm -hmm. and so um, they were like, oh, and they're like, oh well, babies are us. You know, you can use it at toys or us or babies are. I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> so I leave there, and this woman is walking all you know, like she had infirmity, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 
the spirit of the Lord rose up in me. And I was like, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And she, mm. <laughs> and she stood straight up and start walking. She was, she was walking like this. You know, when I was approaching uh -huh. her in my car, uh -huh. so the Spirit of the Lord said, well, roll down your window and speak with power. And so I was like, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And, and she straightened up. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. <laughs> Amen. Wow. Yes. See, God is good. good. Amen. And here's good. another little side story. Mm -hmm. it, it, it has to do with a want more than a need. Okay. Um, a couple of weeks ago, my husband took a, a charter, which was some, you know, saved people, mm -hmm. to San Francisco. St. Paul. When you took St. Paul and seen the lady with the purse. Oh, um, Richmond. Richmond. Okay, he took them to church mm -hmm. in Richmond, right? So he had seen this purse. And that was on a Saturday, though, huh? No, that was a Sunday. That was a Sunday. I went right in, right in the I remember I missed service that day. Okay, well, anyway, some kind of way, me and him, this purse he saw mm -hmm. this woman with, he really liked this purse. Mm -hmm. And I was in a store at, that had the purse he was looking at. And, and of course, at the time, we didn't know it. Right. So he's looking at this purse that this lady had, mm -hmm. and he's not the kind of man who's like, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that, you know, mm -hmm. for women's stuff, yeah. you know. But he was looking at this purse, and I was looking at the purse at in Roseville Galleria. Uh huh. And I don't know how we got on the subject, but we he was talking about the purse, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, my God, that's the same purse I mm -hmm. was looking at. <laughs> And, and, and so, I, and so he said, "Well, you can go and get it." Mm -hmm. And see, usually I'm real, wow. real I'm very frugal mm -hmm. how I spend, you know, money, and I don't yeah. spend extravagant mm -hmm. prices on stuff. You know, some people yeah. that makes them feel good. good. Yeah. It makes me feel good when I have more left over to do something else with. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so anyway, um, this purse was like forty dollars, and that's like out of my range. Mm -hmm. I paid twenty five, nineteen, mm -hmm. you know. And that's usually as high as I'll go. Mm -hmm. But he said, go get it. And so I went ahead and got it and brought it home. He's like, yep, that's the purse. That's so so it's amazing that me and him were like focused on, you know, in two wow. different cities, focused on the same purse. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he really liked it. So I, I wow. went and got it. Amen. That's, that's <laughs> good. You can just dump everything out and forget, and forget it's on the bus and leave it. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he wanted to bring it home to me. Oh, <laughs> that's... Well, and she was like, get away from my purse. <laughs> well, see, the, the Lord is concerned, you know, oh, what concern yeah, in us. Amen. Yeah, yeah. You know, he concerned, it's please, like... Others, you know? Right, right. And a lot of us, you know, we have a different testimonies, you know, to... You know, you get certain things, and it's so nice and so cute, and we just are thankful right. for yeah. everything what we, you know, what right. we get. Yes. Because, yeah. you know, some people don't have right. what we That's have. Yeah. So, um, so grateful for everything, no matter what, you know? Absolutely, right. yeah. absolutely. No matter what we have, yeah. we're just still thankful. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yeah. So, um, now go back to the um, this questions um does anyone you know wanted to share like for example number b uh this week i released the supernatural faith of god within me um to uh, you know war to have the war against the um satan how here and how 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 are you gonna do it like some of us might have some you know, situations. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna do against the word of you know, the war against the Satan? Let let's we see the God. brother Ernest. Mm -hmm. If the enemy was attacking because I've never hear him much talk. Yeah, you don't talk so yeah much. but I'm yeah. sure he has some knowledge because the man that read the word yeah, yeah, God yeah. has to speak to you know back to you. So when you have some situation, when your wife is acting up, for example, <laughs> when, <laughs> no, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. What are you, what, what are you gonna do? Of course, what are you gonna do? How are you? Because you know, we not go against when our family members is acting up. 
We not go against the family member. Well, the enemy was attacking that family member. So you go and you pray, right? And you pray. You don't even have to let her know that you pray. You know, a lot of us, we, we maybe live with a family member and, and the family member maybe don't want to hear your prayer. And you go in front. And it's, you know. Right. You can go to the bathroom. You know, and you say, Lord, she's acting again, Lord. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, just, no, it's nothing because they have a wonderful relationship. They are blessed. Yeah, you know, it he could be our child. He us a mind right, right. It could be our child. Yeah. That could be a um, neighbor. Yeah. yeah. Could be our neighbor. You know, my mother, uh, some some of you don't talk to my mother much because she doesn't speak English, yeah, right? And uh, so anyway, she has that situation with a manager. Uh, because, see, it's very important who manage the property. Oh, yeah. And years ago, that property is beautiful. It's in a wonderful neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And new yeah, manager right, was yeah. there. It's, it's a big difference. Yeah. And because of big difference, uh, you know, people will just go wild. Wow. And so it's an effect on my mother. She was, you know, at night. She called me 3 o'clock in the morning and, and says, listen to my neighbors. I said, well, and I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, what happened to your neighbors? So next day, I'm calling her manager, and I said, ma'am, they have a situation there, mm -hmm. and, you know, you might mm -hmm. want to consider to take care. Yeah. She said, oh, look, I uh, call security, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. So my mother said, well, I can't live like this anymore. Remember, she was looking for a new apartment and yeah, stuff like this. Yeah. So I, have, I said to her, you know what? You have to take authority. Yeah. And I said, this devil yeah. will have to go, yeah. or God will bring the conviction in this woman's heart yeah. and change her heart yeah. that she will start to take care of her obligations. Yeah. Or change her position. Right. Yeah. And I said, Every time from my personal life, when I pray for someone, mm -hmm. I said, Lord, change that person. Mm -hmm. That person yeah. is acting up right now. Right. Change that person mm -hmm. or get yeah. her or oh, him yeah. out of here. Right. Amen. You know, in a job, right. a neighbors, mm -hmm. I mean, could be whatever the situation. Mm -hmm. And my mother, she said, okay. So you, and she said, do you think it's going to work? I said, of course it's going to work. Oh. I said, oh, yeah, of course it's going to work. She said, yeah. so, and we pray. Right. And I said, now you watch what God will do. Right. Well, very next day, she called me again around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning with this phone. Listen, what happened? I said, look, we already pray, mm -hmm. and God is already working. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know very next week? That woman is gone. Yeah. They fire her. I don't know wow. what happened. I don't know. They came from um, the district office yeah. because it's a, it's a big chain. Yeah. They manage a lot of property. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Uh, you know, and only thing I know, she's not there. Hallelujah. And they have this another new manager. Mm -hmm. And everything is cool now. <laughs> Everything they have a order. They yeah. they 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 moving out people mm -hmm. and so. But this is the one of the illustrations. Yes, yes, it's I have one a of the illustrations. Story. Mm -hmm. When you're the landlord, you don't have no manager to run to. Yes, you gotta go straight yes. to God. To God, yes. And so um, we had got these neighbors that were like two houses over. Mm. Party all the time, music mm. blasting all over the at night or day. Yeah, day and at night. night huh? There's a constant traffic in and out, you know. Mm. And um, I'm like, Lord, he. I was studying the Book of Revelations at the time. Oh my God, and. Uh, and the Spirit of the Lord was upon me. And so I'm like, Lord, what should I do? And he says, go out there and take authority. 
Hmm. And he wanted a verb, you know, like a visible thing. So he said, take your blessed oil and go out there and sprinkle. You know, I still, I went and loved mm -hmm. on the neighbors too. But he said, you sprinkle it out and you go across to the park because they were mm -hmm. hanging out over there. Oh my God, they would be howling and everything oh. all hours of the mm -hmm. night. Oh my God! And they and and they would have so much company for the party that they would have to park around my neighborhood, you know, wow. my yes, street. Yes, yes. And so he said, "You go out there," and I uh, took that anointed, blessed mm -hmm, oil out mm -hmm, there, and mm -hmm. I was praying in tongues, everything. You know, there yes. wasn't nobody out there at right. the time right. when I was doing mm -hmm. it. But I'm telling you that the party was over quick. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! That everybody got in their car and they just sped off. Huh? And then a couple of weeks later, those people were gone. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yep. Amen. And God and can it's do been that. Peaceful. Mm -hmm. Pretty ever much since. ever since. But you know, when the enemy tries to start with the music, see, because just like we start our worship mm -hmm. with praise and music, mm -hmm. the enemy is the same way. When they start mm -hmm. coming through the neighborhood playing the loud music and all right. that, then I know mm -hmm. it's time to go to war again before he set up camp. Absolutely. Amen. And so this is, you know, we did and went over this book for all of this time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Pastor did a very good job to oh, explain yeah. all of that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but some practical things. For me, why I like to hear the testimony, because this is a practical thing. Mm -hmm. This is not just in a book. This is how we deal we with, with certain mm -hmm. things, because it is a, we live in a world where we have a crazy neighbors. Because oh, yeah. someone just come to the neighborhood and start to have a little party. We have pastor and I, this, I don't know if we tell you that about yeah. a year ago, we was in a ministry and right every Saturday, like you were saying, mm -hmm. another house from another street. Yeah. I don't know what they did, but they have yeah, a party in their yard. They do that. They don't care. And we was like, Lord, that is not real. We have a, we have to wake up early, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And we did take authority and cast the devils out. Hallelujah. We pray for the salvation of the souls. Oh, I said, Lord, do something, Lord. and the Lord intervened. Hallelujah. So we have to take authority in our streets, in our neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and the same thing with our family members. Oh, um, do not let you know just devil walk over oh, you. Amen. You know, you have to be nice to the people. Oh, yes, yes. But you, you just, you go in the spirit realm, oh, you yeah. go to your oh. room, and you, you oh. just start to oh. pray. Speaking of which, I, oh. I want everybody to pray right. on this. Um, yeah. I think someone tricked me last week and borrowed yeah. some money to say that it was for, like, my car note, oh. my insurance oh. and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then I, something happened, and I tried to contact yeah. them this yeah. week. And they are spending the whole week up in San Francisco. Oh, so it's wow. like the uh, Lord showed me that they made rounds with different people mm -hmm. to end with the sob story. But they're mm -hmm. going up there to um, put my granddaughter in the American Idol or the X Factor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that God can be glorified if, he, if Christians go into the yes. uh, dark places. Right, right. But it, it, some it, you can't go in if you ain't equipped. Well, You're yes, that is a very good. Yeah. You have to be equipped, yeah. prepared. Sure. Yeah. My baby is not yeah. prepared. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. She's saved. She's been going to a church. And you know, She's this never is... never learned about tithing, so I don't know. This is a good Bible example because, um, like, for example, when you train um, <coughs> animal, like we have a pastor and I, we have an American bulldog. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you know. And um, it has to be have this foundation of the basic training yes. before you start to train to be dog a uh, protected dog. Right. Because if the character is not formed, mm -hmm. that dog can be turned really not oh, friendly. Right. So you have to have a time and a season. Mm -hmm. Well, the same thing. This is just the an animal. Yeah. Well, the same thing with a Christian believer. Mm -hmm have to have a strong oh, solid foundation, foundation yeah. mm -hmm. that you know who you are yeah. before you send this person right. by themselves on some so, kind of yeah. mission yes yeah, you have to be and, and so listen um i met a woman uh last week and she was saying that she had a very beautiful daughter mm -hmm. and her daughter was gonna go and get into modeling 
and um, and she said that her daughter her daughter is seasoned though. Okay, mm -hmm. so she went to get on the Tyra Banks show, and now they're asking you in advance on these shows where you can get money and stuff mm. um, if you are a Christian, and if wow. you say yes, you do not mm -hmm. go any further. Well, so I think yeah. you know mm -hmm. that's the time we're living in. It you either you speak up for Christ mm -hmm. or you denounce them. Well, you know, this is the... Oh, the she speaks the, up for it. Yeah, yeah, the... So the, the that... Mm -hmm. They have to model partially nude. Well, some have, of the girls before have to do it. They refuse to do yes, it. Yes, well, yes. Yeah. Well, we know that we they have a Christian art, I mean, uh, actors. Some Christian actors, you know, even they have a movie and they ask them play certain things. Uh, but they said, no, you will have to have a, that particular episode substitute. Mm -hmm. And so they get yeah. them someone yeah. substitute. Yeah, she is there, work. but mm -hmm. it's a substitute. It's not was not her. Yeah. So some but people. That's too close, yeah, think. it is too close. Because if someone thinks it's you. It, right, right. It's like so it's a still compromise. Evil, it's right. still compromise. It's still but compromise. some Christian actors, they said, I'm not taking that role. I'm not going right. to play that. Mm -hmm. And so that is a really strong stand. Yes. You know, and this oh, is are you know. Are going to make the strong stand. Right, it yeah. is. Going to go down, you know, but right. right. But I'm just saying how yeah. the system is turning but, but, on. But you, like you know, that new girl, new people she's going too in. Young. Mm -hmm. She's too young. Yes. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking you all for prayer. For yes. My well, let's we pray. Oh, let's yeah. we pray right now yeah. since yeah. we yeah. talk well, about. I don't want her name over the internet. Yes, so. we're just gonna pray for your you granddaughter. I think you were going to hear him too while you were here. Yes. Oh, no. Not, not that one. Right. So, Father, we lift unto you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, this conversation. You heard who we talk about, Lord, and you know the better, Lord God, what this young lady need. And so, Father, we lift unto you, Lord God, this young lady, and we take authority in the name of Jesus over every assignment that come against your life in the name of Jesus. We claim your life we claim your soul for the kingdom of the living God. We ask in you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the move in the heart of your parents. We thank you, Lord God, that they, Father, will be, Father, obeying you in the name of Jesus. Father, we break every curse. We break every assignment of the devil, every demonic assignment right now over her life in the name of Jesus. We claim her life for the kingdom of God. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet in the name of Jesus. And Father, we lift unto you, Lord God, over all of the people, Father, and every person, Father, who is listening to this um, radio cast, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for the family members. We pray, Lord God, for the children. We pray, Lord God, for the grandchildren. We pray, Lord God, for our grandchildren, our our children, our mothers, our fathers, our family members. We are covered them with the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We claim these souls for the kingdom of God. We ask you, Lord God, to save these souls, Lord God. Deliver them from evil. Set them free from the works of the devil. Because for this purpose, the Son of God is manifest to destroy the works of the devil. So, Father, we release your will. We release your plan. We thank you for it in advance. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, the prayers, our prayers, when we pray for our members, family members, they don't return void. You know, uh, one day, this young, well, he's not a, he is in his 50s, this man. He came to this ministry. Well, we have a lot of people come and visit us and all of that. And he has this story. He was, um, you know, confessing the sins. And he shared with us when he was a young man in his late 20s, early 30s, he was married 
to the female who was a Christian. Well, she got saved. And he was a very violent man. He was running the streets. But this woman, she was always praying for him. And he said that he thought that he was really crazy. He did not want her to go to church. He was so ugly to her. And she was praying and praying and praying until she died. She went home with the Lord. But the good news is that this man is safe. And do you know the another good news is? He is serving the Lord right now. So this woman, she was praying for a number of years. And her prayers at that time doesn't look like it's been answered. But they answer right now. So in our prayers... We're going to believe that we're not going to go home anytime soon. Amen. And they're going to be answered when we can see that. But one way or another, they still be answered. God's word will not return void. So that is the good news. So let's we keep praying. Let's we keep continue to intercede in our family members, our children, our grandchildren. You know. And it, it right. And it doesn't matter what it looks like. They still ask God save this man. Amen. And he is the testimony now. Amen. He said, I was a sinner. I was so bad. But when I came to Jesus, and he really sincerely feel bad what he has done. Sure. He said, I you I he said, I was treat this woman so bad. And I don't know how Jesus can even forgive me. But he said, I'm recognized the love of Christ. And if he can forgive me, Amen. he can sure enough forgive everyone because of his love. Yes. So that is a good testimony. Amen. So we know that he can do it. He can Amen. save our families. He can save, he can our, save our, our children. children. He can save our mothers, our fathers. Right. So that is a good, good and news. And the gift that she has, even when she's singing secular, mm -hmm. people cry. Wow. People cry. I know it was like, you know, the gift and calling come without. Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, anyway, thank you so much for everyone who is listening to this broadcast. We also speak blessings over you, and we pray that the breakthroughs also manifest in your life and the impartation of the revelation of faith is being imparted into your spirit so god bless you this is the larry bergen's ministry and if you have any question prayer request please contact us through the website larry bergen's ministry.com um,